Welcome to Subaru ECU Flash Training Part 6. This video we're going to be exploring the differences between mass airflow and speed density style tuning. It's important that we understand the fundamental differences so we know which to choose when we're doing our calibrating and tuning on our Subaru applications. We'll find on a stock Subaru ROM, they're based on a mass airflow, but if we're using the Carberry ROM, we can work with either mass airflow or speed density. We're gonna break down what it all means in this training tutorial. Without further wait, let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at the differences between mass airflow and speed density based tuning. We have to decide how we wanna calibrate and map our Subaru with our ECU Flash software. We have the ability to do either. We'll find the way that Subaru has intended the ECU to work from the factory is gonna be mass airflow based, but we can change that up when we're dealing with our enhanced Carberry ROM, as we'll talk about here in this training tutorial. We can tune based on the map sensor rather than the mass airflow or math sensor as we find a Subaru has intended everything to work. So there's gonna be some fundamental concepts and differences here that I wanna go over to make sure you understand what you're getting into and why you wanna choose one style of tuning over the other. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at two sample files here. And in fact, the first portion of the video, we're gonna take a look at just one of them, which is gonna be a stock equivalent file. You can find these files in our course packet. If we go here to file open under Subaru course packet, under sample ROM files, we'll find that we have all of these particular files available here. We have a 2003 WRX example, which is what I have open right here. That's our first portion. It's all a stock equivalent file that Subaru would have calibrated and sent into the ECU um, stock. And then we'll find that we have a Carberry enhanced ROM. You can find that right here. So you can choose our different options. I have both of those chosen and open up in their software. So we're gonna be using those in this training tutorial. Now, the first thing we're gonna talk about here is how mass airflow works. Now, we did touch on this in a separate training tutorial. I wanna dig back into this a little bit further because it'll really highlight the differences of what's going on between mass airflow and speed density-based tuning. So in this stock equivalent file, we'll find that Subaru has intended this to run with the mass airflow sensor. Now, the mass airflow sensor is fitted to the inlet to the turbocharger, it's gonna be measuring how much airflow is being ingested into the engine, and then it's gonna be using a lookup table to translate what a voltage output from the MAF sensor is going to be into a volume flow of air. So there's gonna be um, some things we take a look at here. Let's actually jump into that right now so we can start to dig in here and understand what is going on. So under current raw metadata, let's go down here a little bit in towards the middle of our uh, raw metadata information and we're going to go down here under mass airflow engine load now here we're going to find we have a math sensor scaling table if we click on this we can find this table here is based on voltage on our left axes on our right axes this is going to be based on airflow this is a simple lookup table meaning the mass airflow sensor itself is fitted to the inlet, inlet track to the turbocharger measuring the volume flow of air entering the engine what it's going to do is output a particular amount of voltage from the MAF sensor. Now that's gonna go here and look up into this table. So the voltage output is sent as an input to the ECU. That input is used to look up a particular scale here. The scale is gonna run from zero to five volts and in particular from 0.94 volts all the way up to 4.69 volts. So in this table here, it's gonna be doing a direct lookup for voltage. At a particular voltage, it'll look up what a grams per second airflow registration is going to be. Now this is a volume of airflow. This is not air mass. We know that we have an underlining equation in the ECU that's going to be fuel mass is equal to air mass divided by target air fuel. So it's going to constantly need a air mass determination and a target air fuel to figure out what the fuel mass should be. Fuel mass is gonna be how much fuel we need to spray into the engine to get it running properly at any given load and RPM condition. So we have to know what our air mass is going to be. Now, mass is going to be volume times density. This particular table here is going to be the volume flow of air entering our engine. We still need to account for a density portion. Mass is volume times density, this is volume. Now the density portion of airflow registration to determine air mass is becoming from an air temp 
compensation table, as well as a barrow pressure compensation. Now we have access in a stock equivalent file here. And if we go in here to our math compensation IAT, this is going to allow us to compensate for the air. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos are going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.